Turn your Bible with us, please, in Psalms 5. A thought that's been on our heart through this day, and we want to mind the Lord. Be faithful to you and be faithful to God all tonight. In Psalms 5, verse 11, the Scripture says tonight, but let all of those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. We want to stop reading tonight with this one verse of Scripture. You'll notice here in the Scripture it's concerning our rejoicing and praising the Lord in this life. Let all of those that have put their trust in thee rejoice, let them ever shout for joy. Yes, yes. Because thou defendest them, let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. Yes. I want to preach tonight upon this thought. Is it a sin to shout? Uh -huh. Amen. That's right. That's right. Is it a sin tonight to shout? Yeah. Now, beloved, if it is, we've sure been doing some sinning. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But I want to preach tonight right out of my heart and right in the Word of God and, and try to encourage this church and this pastor and to you tonight that are visiting yes. in the service, is it a sin to shout tonight? Now, I realize that we're living in a modern day. Uh -huh. We're living in a time that people say things have changed. But friends, tonight God hasn't changed. Amen. He's still the same to my friend today as he's ever been. Amen. And the Bible says tonight in John chapter 4 and verse 24, God is a spirit and he seeketh such to worship him in spirit. Amen. Now my friends tonight, they a lot of a carnal worship in our services today up and down the land. A lot of fleshly worship. But you don't find too much spiritual worship. My friends, tonight I want to stand and rebuke the devil and say tonight I'm glad that I got saved in an old-fashioned church. Amen. Thank God under old-fashioned preaching. Amen. Thank God I got on this camel 33 years ago. And bless God, I'm going to ride it. Thank God that it settles down in heaven. Amen. Ain't no time to change. Ain't no need of changing. Thank God there's still people left that likes old-time way. Amen. So, friends, tonight, you, thy friend, that are spiritual, this day with it, thank God. I realize tonight the devil, the devil, my friend, the night will put his finger on you. If you shout a little bit, well, then you're supposed to be holier than thou. Amen? Oh, somebody said, well, they don't live what they shout. Well, I know some folk, bless God, that ain't ever shouted, and they don't live what they might be speaking out either. Amen. Amen. Tonight, the folks will put their finger on you, and my friends tonight try to cause you to get defeated and down in hell, but my friends tonight, there's a shout in the hell. Thank God. Praise the Lord in the hell. 
tonight. It ain't none of the devil's madness, praise God. You don't belong to God anymore. You're one of God's children tonight. Amen. Is it a sin to shout? Thank God for churches today, friend of mine, that still got old-fashioned way. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us tonight, friend of mine, in Psalms 150, in verse 1, it tells you where to praise him at, and that's in the sanctuary. Amen. Verse 2, he tells you why to praise him, because of his mighty works and, and his greatness, thank God. Amen. Amen. Hey, my friend, the thoughts are sitting around and saying, Oh, God, I put it on me. I'll bless him. My God, this will think about what you are and what you was and what you're going to be. And that's, wow, that's enough to make anybody want to shout a little bit. Amen. Amen. Yes, tonight I like this music. He said tonight in Psalms 150, he said, make some loud music. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Lord God, this former dead-headed, amen, hey, today, way of worshiping is sickening in God's side. Yeah. Hey, amen. Yeah. Hey, amen. Yeah. Then he says tonight in verse 6, and he said, let everybody, let everything that has a bread, Praise the Lord! Oh, man, God is praising it to him. Amen. Yeah. Oh, is it a sin to shout? Let's see what this book says about it. Amen. I know tonight, and I'm not taking it out on preachers. I love God's men. Tonight, friend of mine, if you've let the devil punch at your shout, I hope God plows your tater patch tonight. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. A man that can't preach his own self happy how in the name of God you expect other people to enjoy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank God I enjoy my preaching. Yeah. Amen. Well, anybody else gets in there, I'm not, I'll preach my own self happy. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Is it a sin to shout? Notice tonight in Joshua chapter 6. God tonight had promised Joshua to live it tonight, Jericho. Amen. He told him how to get it. Not with the weapons of warfare. Amen. Amen. But he said to march around there one time a day for six days. And then thank God on the seventh day, he said, go around there seven times. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Old Joshua took his army and he started marching. Six days of it. Amen. Don't you imagine a lot of folks made fun of him, made light of him. So all them folks over there is emotional. Amen. They, they are just emotional. But my God, if it's emotion, leave me alone. Thank God tonight. It didn't start till I got saved. My God. Oh, that me tonight, folks. It's still real. Oh, Joshua Marsh. Six days around that wall. And on the seventh day, he said, when you mark around it the seventh time, he said the shout. Amen. Amen. Thank God they marched around her seven times. And on the seventh time around, praise God, old Joshua he said, it's time to shout. And they shouted. And you have me, folks. The walls fell down flat before them. One the fire, one the shot fired. But thank God the people obeyed God. And they shot it. And the walls came down. Amen. Yeah. Well, my Lord God tonight was sinners. Gets in the house of God. Amen. The devil put a wall around them. Amen, but I'll tell you what you can do. 
Thank God you can shut it down. Amen. Wow. Shut it down. And brother, help me tonight. It'll bring victory this time. Amen. Yes, it will. Thank you, God. Is it a sin to shout? Ezra chapter 3, verse 11. They tonight begin to build. My friend, tonight the foundation, the temple back. The singers, and all these singers have done a good job this week. The singers begin to sing. He's good. His mercy endure forever. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, tonight, friend of mine, the old patriarchs began to cry, and the young began to shout. <laughs> the Bible says tonight, friend of mine, my friend, you couldn't tell who was who. Some was a shouting, and some was a squalling, but the Bible said you could hear it a fall. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. You mark her down, folks. When we come to church, bless God, the community don't know we've been here. Amen. All I got out of us tonight. Amen. Yeah. They shouted. Praise God. The Bible said in Isaiah 61 and verse 10. He said, I'll greatly rejoice in thee. Amen. Not just have a little. He said, well, that's God. I put one on. Huh? Hey. Why? Because he's robed me with the robe of righteousness and clothed me with a garment of salvation. If I ain't enough to make you shout, bless God, I don't know what it is. Amen. Amen. Acts chapter 26, verse 2. Paul said, I guess to thank myself happy. Huh? Come on. Amen. Right. You sit around, bless God, enduring it. Amen. Trying to say it's hard to live for God. Why, well, that's a lie of the devil. Amen. 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 Thank God. This is joy tonight. Amen. Amen. It's a thrill. It's an honor to be a Christian. Amen. Just think about it. Enough to put a shot on your soul. Amen. Notice something else. Is it a sin to shout? And as the day they shouted. Amen. The Bible says tonight in Psalms 34, verse 1, he said, I'll bless the Lord when? At all times. Huh? Don't sit around, bless God, wait as well. If God pulls it on and I can't help it, then I'll shout. My God, that's sickness. Amen. Thank God tonight. Let it go. He said, I'll bless the Lord. Amen. At all times. Here's a praise and shall continually be on my lips. At all times. No incident seen out of season. Amen. Every time we come in the house of God, we'll have a spell for Jesus. Thank God won't hurt you to have one around the home either. Amen. Have it continually on in your lips. Praising him. Amen. The Bible says in 2 Samuel chapter 6, the ark of God was the way my friend from where it belonged. And David was going to bring that ark home. And the night he decided to go the modern way, the new way, in verse 3, yeah. they got ready to go get that ark. Oh, David got him a new cart. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, can you just imagine old David bless, got in behind a little old new cart? following the Philistine style, following the formal modern worshiping style today. 
Huh? David got in behind that new car and got that ark on it. Started down the road. Oh, it was so pretty. Brother Brandon, calm this choir down. Bless God, they're too loud. Huh? Cut out that hollering hooping in it. Huh? Hey, man. Hey, man. We're riding this new car. We're riding this new Brother Guffy, bless God, you quit pulling your coat off, quit losing that tie. Hey, man, you quit that hollering around. Hey, man, quit that jumping. We're going to ride this new car. Hey, man. Now, don't tell me, bless God, some of them ain't done it. Hey, man, they've done it tonight. They've collared, they've got that little old new car down. And they went, we're going to go, oh, it's so pretty, so pretty. They look at the pretty instead of the spirit of it. Hey, man. Hey, we're the best, the prettiest thing there is today, bless God, is somebody full of God. Hey, man, no prettier than that. Hey, man. Hey, nothing no better than that. But old David had that new cart going down the road with it. Didn't pray, didn't do nothing. Just going along behind him. And the first time it hit a rough place, bless God, like turned over. Huh? And a man grabbed that, and when he did, he fell dead. Killed him. Right there. Yeah, killed him. But old David had to stop. I'm still in the book now. Oh, yeah. Amen. Had to stop. Had to take that ark over a bit inside. Park it there. Amen. Couldn't make it. David heard that God was a blessing on Vinian's house because the ark of God was there, and that's the type of Jesus. He said, bless God, I'm going back and get it again. Huh? I can just see them fellas roll that new card out. David said, now, wait a minute, fellas. We tried that one time, got in the mess. Let's roll that thing aside. Let's go God's way. Let's go God's way. No, oh, David, thank God that God's way was that my affinity was to be carried on staves on fit men's shoulders. Yeah. That's how it was to be carried by a friend in no other way tonight. But beloved David, my friend, tried to top out the Philistine and it wouldn't work. Come on. Come on. But tonight, thank God he got his staves out and he got his fit men. He got that ark on him. Started down the road. David said, now wait just a minute before we go any further. Old David got down and offered sacrifice and praise unto God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. David got up, pulled his king's robe off, got my friend from behind it, got in front of it, and my friend, he done a holy day. Say yeah. Amen. <laughs> wow! The Bible said in verse 14, that he danced with all of his mind. And bless God, it wasn't a twist either. It, it was a holy days. It, wow! He danced with all of his mind in front of the ark. Amen. Bringing that ark home. Amen. Old David come out out in front. The Bible said when King David got the shouting and praising God, the children of Israel joined him. Amen. Amen. Why, well, fellas, tonight, bless God, you're on a good spiritual church, then get in it yourself. Amen. Amen. But oh, David, tonight, thank God, he brought that ark home. How did he get it home? He got it home with a shouting, praising God. Brought the ark of God home. Now, the new car tonight got a man killed. But there didn't nobody get hurt. Going God's way. <laughs> didn't nobody get wounded. Nobody got hurt. But the Lord God of heaven, God lifted up. Amen. In praise tonight. Amen. They rolled that ark in. Tonight, my friend, put it where it belonged. Oh, David blessed his people. Oh, tonight, now hear me, folks. Went home. Yeah. Here's the where a lot of times you meet the devil. Yeah. It's in your home. Huh? Yeah. He had a wife. Saul's daughter. 
while he was out there leaping and praising God, the jumping and having a fit for Jesus, his wife was at the house peeping out the curtains at him. Huh? Yeah. She'd have been right with God, bless God. She'd have been out there with him. You hear me, preacher's wives tonight? Instead of trying to shut him up, bless God, get under it and let him shout himself to death. Amen. Let him go, amen. Let him go. Don't try to hold him down. No. Oh, friends tonight, Saul, daughter tonight, she, when David come in the house, she said, boy, you showed yourself. <laughs> of all things out here in front of these folks and you with your king robe off and you out here jumping and hollering and dancing. Amen. David said that that I did, I did it before the Lord. Wow! And he said, my God, tonight, if you think I was by all that time, you just wait till God puts it on me again. <laughs> his wife shut him up amen thank god he said i'll bless him in there praise him in there is it a sin to shout amen just shout on church shout on amen Baron, you say brother doug that's all in the old bible well Let's go over in the new and see what he says about it. Huh? Amen. Let's see what the new has to say about it. In Luke chapter 10, verse 20. Jesus' disciples come back a rejoicing. Jesus said, Rejoice not, because the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice. Because your name is written down in heaven tonight. <laughs> My God, if that ain't enough to make you have a spell, I don't know what is. Amen. Amen. Just to think about where your name's at right there. Amen. Already there. He said to shout about it. Amen. Jesus said that. Amen. If Jesus said it, then thank God it's in order. Amen. It's in order. Amen. Oh, God, that's good, ain't it? Is it a sin to shout? Shame on the devil. Shout in hell. Amen. The Bible says tonight in verse 21, Jesus had himself a spell. Amen. And my Lord God, you sit around here today, dried and dead, and said, oh, that's all emotional. How do, I'll shout when I get to heaven, you get right with God, and you'll do it over here. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Jesus tonight, thank God, was old-fashioned. He rejoiced. He welcomed. Amen. Tonight, he loved a special way of worship. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Is it a sin to shout? Luke chapter 19, if you're marking them down. <clears throat> Luke chapter 19, Jesus come for the Mount of Olives. He's fixing to go into Jerusalem for the last time. And he sent the disciples in and said, there's a little old coat tied up yonder and ain't nobody ever been sad living. Said, go up there and get him. And if they ask you anything, just tell them the Lord has need of him. Amen. Brought that little mule down there and never had nobody been straddled of him. And I was a country boy, and you know what happened to a brother. He'll buck. They'll buck, he'll throw you. Amen. But that little mule, 
They brought him up to Jesus. Jesus patted him on the ears. Got a straddle that little mule. Started down the road towards Jerusalem. Riding that little mule. The people began to throw their coats in the road. Again, my friend, to throw things in the road, and the people began to shout. Began to praise God. Oh, tonight, thank God, him coming into town. They was a rejoicing and praising God. And all of a sudden, that Pharisee crowd said, bid them to be quiet. He said, if these were to us, the rocks would cry out. Amen. My God. There ain't no rock going to do my shout, praise God. God tonight and ain't no rock going to do my shouting. No. Bless God, how long as God gives me bread, he's going to get praise from this old ready preacher because I'm happy. I'm proud. I'm proud. Because I'm saved. Amen. Saved. Amen. Is it a sin to shout? Huh? John chapter 15, verse 11. Jesus said, My joy I give unto you that your joy might be full. Amen. John chapter 15, that chapter 16, verse 24. This ask what you will, that your joy may be full. Then in verse 22, he says, No man can take your joy from you. If you ain't got the joy tonight, don't you lay it on somebody else. Bless God, it's you tonight. You. It's you. You're the one. Well, let's go a little further. Thank you, God. Acts chapter 3. No boy said at the gate. Yeah. All beautiful. Uh -huh. Amen. Had a cup. Begging on. Yeah, Every time somebody come by, he's begging on. One day he saw two fellows coming down the road. Lord God, they didn't look too good. He hung his head. Wouldn't even look at him. But old Peter stopped in front of him and said, Look on us. He looked up expecting to receive something. Peter said, Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. <laughs> Took him by the hand, raised him up. My friend, feet that had never walked, legs that had never walked. Thank God, the second step he went, he went into that. We're going, wow, what the, wow, wow, wow. Amen. Amen. Is it a sin to shame? Shame on the devil. Amen. He broke up a meeting, praise God. Amen. They is inside in the heaven with them old dead former meetings. Lord God, here come this old boy. Amen. A leaping and a jumping. Thank God they took notice of that. Amen. Peter said, it ain't us that did it. Thank God it's a man you crucified and done it. It's Jesus. Amen. Amen. Is it a sin to shout? You want some more? Is that enough to invite you? Huh? Huh? First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. When all is over. Amen. Paul said, The Lord Himself 
shall descend from heaven <laughs> with a shout. <laughs> He's going to shout so loud, it's going to wake up every saint of God. Thank God tonight in the four corners of this earth. You hear me tonight, folks? The Lord, he's a coming with a shout. Amen. He's coming. Amen. Well, these days when we go through the air, praising God. I hope God let me beside one of these modern, thought this spiritual way. I'm going to gouge him in the river. So I told you so. I told you so. Amen. Bless God, you may never yap down here, but one of these days you'll shout. He's a day of coming. You'll join the crowd. You'll shout. He's, he's a coming. He's a coming. And when he does, he's coming with a shout. Amen. Oh. Revelations chapter 19. This is future now. John saw it. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Eyes not seen, ears not heard. All the things God has in store for him that love him. Amen. But when you get in the spirit, sometimes he'll let you get a little glimpse of it. Huh? In chapter 19, the 9, verse 1, John said, I saw a great host of people. Uh -huh. You know what they are doing? <laughs> they is a howling, howling! Oh, my God, to my, you may sit here, my friend, in this church, and never, my friend, make a threat. But one of these days, you will rap it. Hallelujah. You'll shout. Amen. Whatever you see. Hallelujah. One old little father. Lord God, there was again. Amen. What's it going to be? It's going to be nothing but praise. Glory and honor in his presence. And my God, if we're going to do it there, it's all right to do it here. Amen. Amen. Well, in Revelation chapter 19, verse 7, John said, Let us be glad and rejoice. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has made herself ready. You know who that is? Church? That's us. That's us. You tell me, my God, we're not allowed to shout down here? Well, my Lord, have some folks go to these dead churches, and that preacher will put the damper on you, and when your grandma and grandma shouted all over you. Amen. Amen. Some folks said today right in these dead modern churches, and my friend, the preacher said, ain't nothing to do that. They shut it up. My God, tonight you was raised on it. Come on, and raised on it. Come on, Some of my friend mamas and daddy put you on the, on the beach and bless God let you sleep while they shouted all over the house. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. It's all right for grandma and grandpa. Thank God it's all right for the young ones. Amen. It'll still work today. Amen. Still work. Still work. Oh, he said, let us be glad. And rejoice, for the marriage of the Lamb has come. Yes. His wife has made herself ready. Uh -huh. Come here, Brother Guffy. Amen. Well, Brother Guffy now is in this fleshly body. One of these days, he's going to have a new one. Can you imagine how he's going to look with a white robe on? Huh? Thank huh? the Lord. Hey, hey, yeah. When you go by that judgment seat and get that crown, yeah. put it on your head. Yeah. Hey, man, it's going to be a reality one of these days. 
Right. He's going to escort you in let you sit down at the table. Yeah. Sit down. <laughs> Amen. 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 Sit down at the, the, the table. Thank God it's going to have to be mighty long because yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I got news for you. A lot of places you may be pushed out, but this is one place, God, you got a reserved seat. Yeah. Hey, you got a reservation, man. Yeah. Come here, Brother Benny. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Lord God, 82 years old. But thank God you can be a thousand eighty-two in that glorified body that won't slow you down. Amen. Put that crown on your head. Set them people oh, over yeah. there. Yeah. Make your royal committee. Come in, sit down. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank God. Set it down at the table, hey, amen. My God, you talk about shopping on the hillsides of glory, hey, amen. You better do some practicing down here because you're going to have a smell in that day, hey, amen. The Bible says, oh, tonight, Jesus now, we never have seen him, never have laid eyes on him, Amen. One of these days, he's going to dirty himself. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And thank God while we sit at the table, <laughs> he's going to serve us. Yeah. Yeah. You talk yeah. about shouting yeah. and praising God. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Won't be able to eat much. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. All our eyes are due against the whole that man yeah. that loved us, yeah. died for us.
Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. Why don't anybody look like this? I don't understand it. Ain't nothing like it. Get lost in the Holy Ghost. Ain't nothing take place of it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Go oh, ahead, hey, Brother Governor. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Glory to shout it out. David said in Psalms of 51, verse 12, he said, Restore to me the joy of thy salvation. My God, if you ain't got it tonight, I wouldn't leave here till I got it. It's a yeah, and God will give it back to you. If you ever got saved, you got joy in your salvation. Amen. Oh, yeah, Brother Guffey, I don't know what to do with it. Oh, the mercy. Thank God I know. You oh, know, really. The devil, some of, them, some of them says that old dove's still kicking that leg. You tell them, bless God, I'm still at it. <laughs> the next time you see me, thank God. Amen. 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 Nothing. Well, like it is not sick. ashamed of the Lord. Holy. Hallelujah. Would you love like to stand up, praise God. Praise your hands. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Give him glory. Give him all he deserves the Lord. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. Boy, I tell you, if I was here tonight Thank you, and God. I couldn't feel the touch of God, I'd be in this altar. Oh, now, let me say this to you that criticize the Spirit of the Lord. You won't, you won't enjoy it like God's people are enjoying it. Amen. I thought tonight when the Spirit of the Lord hovered over us, and I couldn't even see the back of this church. Glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. I told, I told Brother Scott, when I came up in the choir, I said, these bodies can't take much of this. That's the reason God's going to give us a glorified body. 